Hey Retro Gamers and welcome back to another video on Batocera TV. Batocera just keeps growing with every new release. More features, more systems, more improvements. But with all these exciting additions, there's a chance your boot partition might eventually be too small to handle an automatic Batocera upgrade. Don't worry, this isn't as complicated as it sounds. In today's video, we're doing a step-by-step -step tutorial that's accessible to everyone, even if you've never resized a partition before. I'll guide you through the entire process, from preparing a simple USB tool to safely extending your Batocera boot partition, making sure your system is ready for all future updates without any frustration. Before we jump into the actual resizing process, let's take a moment to understand how partitions are set up in Batacera. This part is especially for those of you who want to know what's going on under the hood. If you're already comfortable with how Batacera partitions work, you can skip ahead to the next section where we prepare the USB tool we'll use to boot into a partition manager and actually resize the boot partition. Batocera is made up of two main partitions. The boot partition, labeled Batocera, and the share partition which holds all your user data. ROMs, BIOS files, configurations, and everything else you add to your system. The boot partition contains the Linux kernel and the Batocera system image, which is mounted in read-only mode every time the system starts. This means the image itself never changes. It's a fixed, protected base for your system. When you run an upgrade from inside Batocera, here's what happens. The new Batocera image is downloaded into the share partition first. Then it's decompressed into the boot partition, temporarily keeping both the old and the new images there at the same time. When you reboot, Batocera switches over to the new image and removes the old one. Your user data folder on the share partition is never touched during this process. But over time, the Batocera image has grown. We've added more emulators, more features, more scripts, and more assets, all of which increase its size. Originally, the boot partition was sized at just over 7 gigabytes, enough to keep the system lightweight while still leaving room for upgrades. But now, the larger image size means there isn't enough space left to store both versions during an update, and that's when the upgrade can fail. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to extend your boot partition giving it more space so you can continue upgrading Batocera smoothly for all the future releases to come. All right, let's get into the real action. I've just plugged in a USB stick that we're going to turn into a bootable tool for this tutorial. To make this possible, we're going to use a small but powerful utility called Ventoy. It will allow us to create a bootable USB with a menu where we can simply drop ISO files and launch them directly. Let's head over to the official Ventoy website. If you're on Windows, make sure you download the Windows version of the tool. Just click the download link, save the zip file, and wait for it to finish. Once the download is complete, extract the zip file to a location you can access easily. In my case, I'm putting it right on the desktop. Inside the extracted folder, you'll find the Ventoy executable. Double-click to open it. Select your USB stick from the list and click Install. Confirm the prompts, and in a few seconds, your bootable USB is ready to go. Now, unplug your USB stick and plug it back in. You should now see two partitions appear, one labeled Ventoy and another called Ventoy EFI. The EFI partition contains the boot files, while the main Ventoy partition is where we're going to store the ISO images we want to boot. Next, we're going to download the Gparted ISO. This is the tool that will help us resize the Batocera boot partition. Head over to the official Gparted website and grab the latest ISO image. Once the download is complete, simply drag and drop the ISO file into the Ventoy partition of your USB stick. And that's it. The USB is now ready. Just unplug it and connect it to the Batocera machine so we can move on to the resizing process. If your BIOS is set to boot from the USB stick we just prepared, you should now see the Ventoy boot menu. In that menu, you'll find the Gparted ISO we copied earlier. Select it, press Enter, 
and then choose the default options to launch Gparted. Don't worry if you see any warning messages during startup, you can safely ignore them for this process. Next, select your language, and once again, if you're not sure, just press Enter to confirm the default choice. Now we're inside the Gparted tool, and this is where the real work happens. Our goal is to shrink the share partition so we can give that space to the boot partition. First, make sure you've selected the correct drive, then locate the share partition. Reduce it. For example, you might take 2,000 gigabytes from it, but the exact amount is up to you. Just make sure you leave enough space for your ROMs and that you give the boot partition enough room for all future updates. Once that's done, select the Batosera boot partition and extend it by using the space you just freed from share. When everything looks correct, click the green checkmark button to apply the changes. Confirm your selection, and that's it. The process will begin. Keep in mind this can take a while, depending on your drive speed and how many files are installed. And that's it. Once the operation is complete, you'll see that the boot partition has been successfully expanded. It's now fully ready to handle all your future Batocera updates without running into space issues. All that's left to do is exit Gparted, reboot into Batocera, and you're good to go, ready to launch your updates and keep enjoying the latest features. And there you have it. Your boot partition is now ready for whatever the next Batocera updates bring. Remember, Batocera keeps growing with every release, and stability comes from you, the community. The more you test, the more feedback you share, the better and more reliable Batocera becomes for everyone. So don't hesitate. Try out the latest version, push it to its limits, and let us know about any issues you find. Together, we make Batocera the best it can be. I hope this video has given you the support you need and inspired you to keep updating Batocera as often as possible. Until the next release, happy retro gaming everyone!